Hey everybody, Jason Moss here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a G Suite account. Um, and it's really not that hard, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to have to have, of course, is a domain. We're going to be setting this up today on mosstechnologies.co. All right. Second thing you want to do is you're going to come over to Google and you're going to type in G Suite. All right. So we're going to go to gsuite.google.com and they make it a very simple process to do this so we'll hit get started and all right you start out with the 14 day free trial um, and you just fill out everything um, it is just me all right and if you're setting up multiple like if you have employees or other people on your team that are going to need G Suite accounts as well that's where you put in the different things. For this example, it is just me. All right, then they want your contact info. All pretty basic and easy stuff here. Current email address. Um, for this, because I, I believe it's actually like a recovery, I would use a regular Gmail that you have rather than another G Suite. So I will use my Gmail. Does your business have a domain? Yes. Okay. So if, if you don't have a domain, um, actually, I mean, you can buy one straight through Google now. So, um, what I told you at the beginning of this video is not completely true. Um, you don't need a domain to start. You can actually buy one through their system and while you're signing up through this, but I already have the domain. So I'm going to hit yes. And the domain is Moss technologies.co right. okay next step all right use this domain to set up the account yes that is correct they're just verifying it all right the username what is your you know your your email going to be this is going to be Jason And the password, just make a password real quick. I'm not a robot. And then agree and continue. And it does a little verification for you. All right, and now that we're on this page, you will see that they have um, review your payment plan, try G Suite for 14 days for free. Now, they automatically put you on the business, which is 12 bucks a month, but you don't actually need that. There is the G Suite Basic, which is perfectly fine for 99% of people, which is, I believe, $6 a month. So you don't have an option here. So you hit next, and then I believe you can downgrade it here in just a second. I know you can do it, so... We'll, we'll find it here together. All right, but it's asking for the rest of your information based on like your, your billing and whatnot. So I'll just fill that out real quick. All right, primary contact looks good. Add a credit card or debit card. They don't charge you now, of course. Um, they charge you in the, yeah, after your 14 day trial. Okay, perfect. Once you put in your credit card or bank account information um, and you click on through, you will see a page like this. It has been created. Everything looks successful. Continue to set up. Now, the first thing we want to do is go and knock down that plan from the business plan down to the basic. So we're not paying 12 bucks a month. We're paying $6 a month. So we'll hit next and it dumps you right into the admin area um, so let's see what we have to do next all right because there is a few more steps that we have to do I forgot about this um, you have to verify the domain all right so let's just go through their process here hit verify we need a quick check to make sure you own your domain uh, they have the txt verification or switch the verification 
we'll see what they give us options here txt we can create a c name add a meta tag upload an html file let's cancel that okay so these are the txt records that it wants us to add all right now i like to buy my names excuse me my domain names through namecheap okay and i'll show you why here in a second now you can copy this if you didn't buy it through uh, Namecheap and you bought it through someone else it's going to be a little bit of a different process and if you bought the domain through Google during this sign up process I haven't done that before but I'm pretty sure that you probably won't even be seeing this screen because they will do it for you okay not exactly sure because I've never bought one through Google okay uh, but you can see it even tells us right here it can see that the domain is bought through Namecheap all right and they make it real easy um, there's actually just a one button click that you do here and you can see the directions okay so the directions can look a little complicated but if you bought your domain through Namecheap all right you can head over to Namecheap log in go to your domain okay and you'll see this is mosstechnologies.co all right, and then you're going to go over to the Advanced DNS tab. Once you are in this area here, okay, you can scroll on down and under Mail Settings, okay, if you click on this arrow, you'll see that they have Gmail. There's a Gmail setting in here for you already so you don't have to enter some of this stuff you just hit gmail and it automatically configured for mosstechnologies.co hit save changes all right and the mail settings have been successfully saved now you can come back over here okay so let's grab this record here um, this one that they give us and we're going to head over to namecheap and we're going to load this host record in our domain. So we are on the domain here, mosstechnologies.co. These are our host records right here. All right, so we're going to add a new record. And it was a TXT record. Okay, we'll enter the value, which is that long string. Okay, and then I believe this is the at, yes. So we'll put that in there, hit the check mark. Now that doesn't affect anything um, on that domain, like it'll never mess up your website or um, anything that you have with that domain. It's just a, it's just a text record, so things like Google can verify that you have ownership of this domain okay so now that that is done okay we will hit verify my domain and because of the propagation it might take a few minutes so I will pause the video and see what happens so I've tried to verify the domain like three or four times now um, it's been probably 30 minutes or so and it's still not uh, verifying so I'm going to skip it for now uh, because I'm sure the propagation is just taking its time once that gets done then it'll go through of course because I'm you know we've done everything correctly here so let's X out of this and let's go check on other settings okay here we go so if you're on this screen here you can click on these nine dots click on the more and then where to go admin uh, hit that wrench for your admin it brings you over here once you have this up here click on billing all right and then we have you can see it's on the G Suite business paid service starts in 14 days $12 a month okay you can click on actions and downgrade to G Suite basic all right so if we do that um, it will show you the differences in what you will be losing which is always nice to see so you can see 
G Suite business, you get unlimited storage, which is pretty cool if you have a whole lot of files. I mean, 12 bucks a month, that's really not that bad at all. Um, team drives where, you know, you might need that, you might not. Company-wide search, Google Vol, advanced reporting. I mean, all in all, you might need it, you might not. For my situation, I don't need that. So I'm going to go back to G Suite Basic, click the downgrade button, and boom, now you're on the $6 a month program. All right, then hit continue. I've read, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now you're subscribed to G Suite Basic. All right, perfect. So that's done there, and now we just have to, uh, we still have to verify the email address. So I'll head back over there and see if that is ready for us. Okay, I went back to the verification screen, hit verify. Um, it went through its process one more time and boom, everything is done. You're all set to use G Suite, so it's verified. We created the email accounts. Um, that's for if you want to add more. Okay, each one's another six bucks a month though. Um, Gmail is activated. So we're in the admin section, so we can actually hit these nine dots up here and okay once you get to this page here then you just hit the nine dots again Google Apps and then you'll have all of your different apps um, we'll hit Gmail and that will take you over to your brand new G Suite account so it's easy as that this is popping up because I have a email tracker um, Google extension on there normally you won't see that you can choose your view um, and then here it is you're all ready to go um, but if you have questions um, you know comments let me know below I'm happy to help you out thanks guys